Today we're going to talk about GP clawback provisions. So first of all, what is a clawback? A clawback is a clause or provision in a legal agreement, usually a limited partnership agreement, that can force the general partner to recontribute any overpaid carried interest it has received. To demonstrate this, we're currently in a top shelf sample waterfall model. This is just a simple fund, three tier style. So this first hurdle that we have is an LP preferred return rate, and right now it's set to 9%. This means that the LPs are gonna receive every single dollar of distributions until they've received 9% annual return on their capital contributions. After that, we have a catch-up tier, which goes 100% to the general partners and 0% to the limited partners until the GP has received a certain percentage of fund profits. Right now, it's set to 20%. Any dollars after that tier flow through to this final tier, in which the GP gets 20% and the LP gets 80%. The purpose of a waterfall structure like this is really to make sure that the GP gets a certain cut of profits if there's enough dollars to flow through to this final tier. So no matter how much money this fund makes, the GP gets at maximum 20% of the profits. Now we'll go into the waterfall and show you how this is calculated. So this line up here, D11, is the capital contribution that the LPs make. And you can see it's a million dollars right now. Over here, we have two distributions. So this first tier is the preferred return, which calculates how much of this distribution the LP should receive to get their preferred return. You can see that they're supposed to get $1,043,661. And if we take their capital contribution and that distribution and the dates, we can run a IRR check on this to make sure that they're getting their preferred return. You can see this comes to 9%, which means they are getting their preferred return. This next tier is the catch up. And we currently have this set so the GP gets 100% of this tier until they've reached 20% of profits. So you can see that there's $915 available and the GP gets the entire $915 since they get 100% of this tier. And the way that I have this distribution set up right now, this is actually the exact amount of dollars needed to get the GP to exactly 20% of profits. So you can see that no cash flows through to this final tier in this distribution. If we look at this 731.21 distribution of $100,000, you can see that 80% is going to the GP and 20% is going, or 80% is going to the LP and 20% is going to the GP. This is because these previous two tiers have already been met, so all dollars flow through to this final tier. So for clawback purposes, we consider this final tier and this catch-up tier to be the carried interest for the general partner. So right now, there's two places we can look at this on this model and see how much they've received down here at the bottom. It just sums up all of their proceeds, which is currently 30,915. You can also see that up top, where we also have a check to take the total fund profit and the GP distribution and make sure that they're getting 20%, which they are. So right now, this waterfall is calculating properly. Everybody is, get, is getting what they are owed. There's no need for a clawback at this time. What would, what would happen if, say, we had another capital contribution that didn't get repaid? So we'll put a negative $10,000, which means it's a $10,000 contribution here by the LPs. And you can see that there's no distribution afterwards, so there's no way for the this waterfall to recalculate based on this distribution. If we go and look at the GP distributions, we notice that they haven't changed. This is because this contribution comes after the distributions, so at the time of calculation for these distributions, everything was correct. But if we look at the fund profit, it's dropped by $10,000 as we expect which means that the GPs received greater than 20%. So if there was a clawback clause in this waterfall, this would mean that the LPs can go and see the fund profit, multiply it by the 20%, and see that the GPs should only be receiving this 28,915, not 30,915. And so that $2,000 difference would be the clawback that the GPs have to, receive, have to recontribute to the limited partners.